My MacBook Pro has been overheating, seems like it's overheating, but the fans blow out fast and the bottom of the case gets hot really quick. So I thought it was myself. Let me break it up, get myself some thermal paste and uh, reapply the thermal paste on the CPU and we'll see if that is actually a successful thing on how to get it done. Now as you can see, I've already gone through a lot and what I ended up doing is that, if you can notice all of these little clean pads are all dirty. What I ended up doing is that I actually disassembled the whole MacBook Pro. There's a 2015 model, 13-inch uh, uh, screen, uh, and left the battery pack in because the battery pack has some adhesive pads at the bottom. You can use, uh, what's it called again? If you need to replace your battery pack, there is some alcoholic spray that you can use. You spray, on the the spray at the bottom, then you can pry it all up. But I don't need to do that, so I left it. On these sides here, you've got your speakers. Uh, what I had to do when I took everything out is actually take out the battery pad first and then I decided to actually take out the fan. I cleaned the fan completely just to clean out the dust. I had also taken this out so that's clean. I also showed some before pictures of how it looked before that. Even went to the extreme level of actually taking out the actual screen. Didn't need to take out the screen, but you know what? This is how we learn and this is how we get stuff done. So I ended up doing that and currently I have already cleaned the old thermal paste that was on the CPU. Um, paste will look like that. And I don't understand, but since when is a CPU rectangle? But I guess Mac does things differently. And on the bright side, who said MacBook does not have Samsung within it? Who said? Who said it? I want to know who you are. Show yourself. <laughs> but anyway, that's basically what I've done. Now, um... Now, you might also ask, where did I find these things? Uh, well, these alcoholic pads. I found these alcoholic pads at Clix. I think they are a good and efficient way of using them due to the mere fact that they are 70% saturated pads of... Uh, what's it? Alcohol. Alcohol pads. But they come in a pack of this, pack of 30. I bought three because one was free. And thank you, Click South Africa. Why am I mentioning people? But anyway, let's get back into it. Now when it comes to putting on the right amount of thermal paste, let's get it the last time. You don't want to put too much, neither do you want to put too little, because that is what keeps your PC slash GPU, GPU, nice, calm and collected and cool. Now the thermal paste that I have is this one right here. HY 880 of which it's thermal what 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 of what what is where is it there 39.3 degrees and the others are slightly higher ever so slightly not a lot but ever so slightly which shows that that makes a huge ass difference so just gotta make sure you don't pull too much thermal paste, but just enough, just enough.
funny enough when I got the PC and I opened it up the GPU side did not have any thermal paste I have no clue why but it's really just something that I realized and noticed doesn't make a lot of sense but that's what I saw as I said now the thing is to try and get enough thermal paste across the whole of the shininess and as I said this is what keeps your PC nice and cool, calm and collected but also make sure you don't get any of the thermal paste into the black circumference because uh, there are electrical components underneath there that should not have any type or any form of liquid even though thermal paste isn't much of a liquid but more of a paste as it says, thermal paste it's just something to look out for and something to be sure of Um, I think that should be just about enough thermal paste to keep this PC cool for another good 3-4 years. But this is basically something you should consider doing ever so often. And that should be just about enough thermal paste that one actually needs to have right there now to put the heatsink and also make sure you don't put the thermal paste on the heatsink you actually put it on the cpu and gpu prior to putting the heatsink back on but back to the time lapse let's go now there you go and there you have it whole pc done dusted set i don't have any additional screws except the outer screws and a whole bunch of rubbish which is that shows how much dirt is actually on your motherboard slash inside your internals before you clean there we go i must say i really love how they design and how everything is so clean like this is like inspirational this stuff i should be doing this stuff i should study maybe i should go back into uh, building pcbs and designing pcbs hmm interesting time to be alive Thanks again for tuning in and thank you for uh, liking and subscribing, positive thinking, envision thinking, and I'll see you guys in the next videos. But before I leave and before I close the bottom, let's try and switch it on. But at the same time, I don't know if it will switch on because I have been noticing that there are these little springy things, which I guess could be like sensors to state that the lid is not closed. And it is open, so don't put it on. But let's give it a try. Uh, it was nice. Oh, yeah, speakers are working, screen is working. We are in business. Thanks again for tuning in. And please make sure you do like and please make sure you do subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next flip side of life of videos. That was a way on how to clean up your PC and make sure that it runs smooth. It doesn't run as hot as what it runs. Clean that thermal paste and make sure you do also clean that motherboard. See you guys on the flip side. Peace. Oh yeah, by the way, when you put on the lid, make sure you do line up these two pins right there. Which align that part right there. Line up with that part and line up with that part. Just make sure you do line them up as you close it. Good piece. There's a lot of Dima. What? I'm on a Napumla bonnet, I guess. Is he gonna go again? Looks like he is, no? Oh, he's done. That's when you know you love your car, bruh. Maybe you just got it in your Hey! What's up?